Hi everyone, I'm Rick. I'm the owner of Capital Computing. This is one of our community outreach videos. In this video, I'm going to show you how to access the Tor network and the deep web. First of all, you're going to want to head over to google.com. You're going to want to type in Tor browser. You're going to go to torproject.org and you're going to download Tor. This is a browser that you're going to be able to view .onion sites with. Because .onion sites require a proxy in order to be able to view them. You can't just uh, view them in your Chrome browser or Internet Explorer because they're not part of the actual internet. We're going to open it up, run the installer, and we'll wait for it to install. The next thing that you're going to do, you're going to want to get a VPN gate. This ensures you have a secure connection between the, uh, VP between the uh, Tor server and your computer so no one can see uh, your traffic your network traffic and no one can uh, find out what you're doing on there not even your ISP so we're going to download the first link up here and install it then we'll wait to run the Tor browser we've finished installing our VPN right here and navigate to your VPN gate right here and run it install gonna install the VPN client only click I agree next You're going to want to start it right up. Here we're going to add a VPN connection. And we already have a VPN adapter right here. But if you don't, you're going to want to make one. Let's just say I didn't have this. Let's delete this adapter. We're going to add a connection. Name it VPN. And then it'll add an adapter. Now you're going to go to the public relay servers and you're going to want to click on the first one, it's usually the best. You're going to connect to the VPN uh, server and you're going to use TCP protocol. You're always trying to want to use an Ethernet connection if you have one, it's a wired connection instead of a Wi-Fi or wireless because the Ethernet connection ensures stability on the line so you don't have any noise on the line. If you have Wi-Fi, you don't lose signal, so you want to ensure a fast connection since we're going to be jumping over to uh, multiple uh, locations on the other side of the world with these servers. Okay, now that we're connected to that uh, VPN, we're going to go ahead and exit our current browser, and we're going to go to Tor Browser here, and start Tor Browser. Tor Browser should automatically install to your desktop. If not, just navigate to where it's installed. We're going to connect to the Tor network right now. Now we're connected. You're gonna want to leave the window like this. If you uh, actually maximize your window, then uh, websites can uh, track this because they can find out how large your monitor is, and you want to make sure to like, give them the least information about you as possible. All right, we're gonna go to dot onion uh, sites, and this should. Uh, bring up a couple pages that we can navigate the uh, web with. It seems we've gotten error because a lot of people have been using this so I'm gonna go ahead and move over to uh, Yahoo. This happens because there's a large amount of users there's, or there's a lot of traffic going through this uh, network so it's probably the only Tor network node open. 
Okay, so you wanna gonna wanna go to the hidden wiki. It's the most popular way to place a start. And this is just basically a directory to your uh, deep web. It's not an exhaustive list, of course, because most of the websites in the deep web are dynamically generated, which means that they're always changing. So a lot of the sites on here probably don't work, actually. You just have to go find where they have uh, have an updated list. And of course, it's going to take a while to load because we're jumping from node to node on the other side of the world. So there's a bit of lag. And also, if you're wondering, if you go to sites like uh, Agora Marketplace, which is a place where they sell illicit drugs, guns, whatever, it's all perfectly legal to view the site, but it is illegal to uh, purchase items from the site. So if you're just exploring, then uh, technically it's legal to view the website. It's just illegal to buy stuff from it. Most of the things you're going to find on the web are of that nature of well, more on the illegal side because it takes a, quite a bit of uh, knowledge and uh, uh, it just takes takes a lot for someone to create one of these websites so only those who truly need the privacy or the anonymity would go through the um, process to create a website on here And yeah, this happens on internet, any internet connection. My internet, it's uh, 90 megs down, so it's just a Tor network. Okay, here we have our list of tour websites. Um, so of course it's not an exhaustive list, it's just a couple of websites right here. I can go to this one just to show you the dot onion sites. So just to show you, if we open up Google Chrome, we type in the same website, we're going to get an error. This web page is not available, an error name not resolved. This is because you need the proxy, you need to be connected to the Tor network in order to be able to access this website. And here we go. A bunch of websites. Well, that's how you get to the Tor network, that's how you get to the deep web. Of course, it's not a... Um, I don't condone whatever you do on here. I'm just, this purely for educational purposes. I'm just showing you how you would connect to the Tor network. And it's a good lesson in uh, security as well, because so far, few people have been able to actually track down this Tor network, track down people through it. So if you're ever interested in security, just, you know, take a look at it, examine it. We need more people like that. Alright, if you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. And if you have a question or concern, just leave it in the comments. Alright, have a great day. Enjoy.